Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. Welcome, it's me, Wingy Schneebay, Mijanki Quay, Sweet Grass Water, Medicine Woman, your friendly, freaky ass, Medicine Woman, and Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, Superstar, on this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, you beautiful divine beings. Right here, too. Yeah. How goes it? How's this week going? Did you check out those readings this week and those cards that have been coming out, these points to ponder, right? Because I'm not telling you any future things or nothing like that. It's just things that we think reflect on our life because I'm a firm believer nobody can tell you your future because as soon as they do, they've already changed it. Right? Um, right to each their own and it's up to you of what you believe, right? That's just, that's just simply... Simply my beliefs and what I have always believed in. And then I make no stick. I make no claims that I can tell your future. That I know better for you than you do. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You are the expert on you. Ain't nobody else's. That is true. Huh. No human being knows you better than you. Huh. So get in touch with you inside. Connect with your source. There's so much going on at these times, and and you know what? When when that fighting and you know, united we stand, divided we fall. Think about that, right? It's 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 true. It is true. Divide and conquer. I mean, this has been like a war strategy for what? Right? Like a psychological warfare. We don't think this stuff can happen. You know the biochemical warfare, whatever it is, right? Look at the stuff that uh, man has created here, right? Hmm. So let's not um, ignore possibilities, right? Looking away doesn't make it go away. Raising your voice louder doesn't mean somebody's going to hear. It kind of does the opposite, you know. Kind of the opposite. The more, the louder we get, the more, right? And who's gonna hear that? So it's time to speak softer, quieter. Yeah, I'm a little. Uh, it's not just the cold. Well, you know, it's turned into sinus stuff with that sinus mucosal disease. But crying don't help. Right, fills it up more. It's a rough night last night. It's triggered into spasms on the floor a couple of times. <laughs> scary. It was very scary. Right? Scared that my kids are going to be scared, but no, they're laughing. Because <laughs> I make sure my kids are safe. A lot of it, though, right? I'm looking at that, that autism. I think of that little in me that if she went through life with that undiagnosed. Right, and I think about how when we were kids and my Uncle Ricky came to live with us and we had to, you know, well, you don't push him and tease him until he has to blow up because that's, you know, that's not fair to that person. Yeah, we're all responsible for our own feelings, you know, but there, there's some that has these uh, difficulties, right, at the... Um, emotional maturity or whatever that is, developmental delays or disorders or whatever that is. Um, excuse me, I'm going to pause this and blow because I don't want to blow while you're watching. So just excuse me for just a second. Thank you. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, I didn't want to. Ow! Because it's, it's gross, right? When you're kissing with your honey and you feel something running, don't think it's funny because it's not. <laughs> Go to swing. Uh, woo. Yeah, so on the floor. And then, you know, injury. Oh, I thank God for that healing. That be in there. Because then they, they learn, right? And they'll go and hurt themselves to try and turn that around. Instead of not doing the behaviors. Let's look at us. Are we? Do we get angry when we get caught for doing something we're not supposed to do? Now, is it the one that catches us? Is it their fault that they caught us? Or is it our fault for doing what we weren't supposed to do in the first place? 
I think this is what I'm trying to get through to my kids because they lash out. Because there's been a lot of things going, you know. You're only in trouble if you get caught, right? It's only wrong if you get caught, right? Well, don't get caught and all that kind of stuff. Sneaky, conniving. They've been taught this. And one proudly announced how sneaky he was the sneakiest one in the house. Right? This isn't to be something to be proud of. You can take advantage of somebody else. You can manipulate somebody else. It's something to be proud of. You take advantage of somebody and their weaknesses. That's not something to be proud of. To help others, that's something to be proud of. To lift them up when there was nobody else there. That's something to be proud of. To believe when nobody else did. Right? To come and face them when everybody turned their backs. Those are cool. Like... Not caring is not cool. Caring is cool, right? Being kind is cool. Being unkind is cruel. All right? Not cool. Not caring is cruel. Not cool. But death to that. Connection inside. Uh, death and rebirth. We were talking about that yesterday, huh? Death and rebirth. We were at 620. Okay, let's go to... Um, let's just balance. Find some balance today. Points to ponder. Balancing our feminine... Masculine energies in, in, our, in our thinking and our doing. You know, finding that balance and that creativity for our thinking and our doing. Integrating all that we're learning and rolling with the punches. Right? And not acting and lashing out until we have all that information. We might decide that's not one. Maybe we'll go down the river and get something else because uh, maybe that piece of meat isn't worth it. I don't know. No, I'm hurting myself. Calling in all of our energies from the east, the path of illumination and clarity, the place of man, the place of fire. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the south. That's the innocence, the child, the waters, the emotions. <sighs> and calling back all of our energies from the west, the physical, the earth place of introspection woman <sighs> and calling back all of our energies from the north our wisdom years the air the mental <sighs> and when we walk this red road south in childhood up to the earth right sometimes a retreat sometimes we don't know uh, no retreat no surrender right I don't know childhood we just keep going pursuing we don't have to learn to retreat and rest because we want to just go, go, go. But sometimes, like our bodies, we can listen to those. So the trickster thinking that these bodies are limitless, they are not. Spirit's limitless. The body's limited. So that's why we must retreat and rest time to time. Blue road of spirit is east to west, right? That's the limitlessness, that transformation, right? So after we die, we are transformed. We're coming in that east gate. We are transformed into this body, right? So not just a spirit on its own, transformed into this body. This little caterpillar. How I transform back to that spirit and a butterfly and fly free again. I don't know. How is that for you? East to west is the blue road of spirit. Always there with us as the sun. The viewpoints and options. We have so many of them. It's who you choose to be. Hmm? You need to be who God made you to be. Not who man told you to be. Above. Below. And within. There we go. Okay. We'll spread them out here. Reflecting. So let's reflect on these readings and stuff we've been doing. The points to ponder. Whether you're following along, it doesn't matter. Maybe today's the first one you watch. And that's perfectly fine. So how can you find that balancing in whenever you're watching this for you? We're going to think about it first. We'll use this one as our female side. That one. Okay, so we're thinking about that. The truth as protection. We're finding the truth of who we are. We're connecting with that inner, that little inside of us to see what that little needs. And to let that little know it was not their fault and give that truth, right? It's that woman nurturing medicine, nurturing that little within. We all need to get more in touch with that feminine side. 
Even us born with the female parts, we all need to get touch with that playful, fun energy, the creative, nurturing energy. That's the truth is protection. It's all part of us. And it's not the weaker part. Could be the stronger part. Who knows? It's not this or that. This one's better. We need all of it. We need both energies, the reflective energy and the action energy, right? The female is the reflective creative energy. The male energy is the doing, getting her done, right? So we need to balance that. So a lot of us are forgetting that nurturing and that retreat. That these bodies need that. And it's up to us. We are 100% responsible to take care of these bodies. We were gifted to be here on this earth. It's a miracle for us to have these bodies. It's amazing. So, get in touch with that woman's side and reflect on that and the truth. How do you feel about your vulnerabilities? Do you feel in your brain, like this is woman's work, that's man's work. Oh, if I cry, oh, that shows a weakness. A men can't cry. It's a woman thing. Whatever. How? Reflect on that for you. That's the reflecting that's being for us to ponder. Whatever that today Whatever that is for you, however that works out for you. And then the male energy, the doing after we're reflecting on that, whether we're reflecting on all the readings, the points to ponder that we've had through this week, whenever you've watched, whatever you've watched, or just on your life, and what's going on now, what we can do personally, because it all begins within, right? So that action that we can take is that ability to respond. So when we reflect on that and that nurturing, we have that ability to respond. Is it time to rest today? Because that's action too. Taking rest is also action. You're actively resting your body to recharge, to get ready for what's coming next, to tap into those secrets within you, that, to respond to those, right? The secrets that you've been holding. Is it time to let them go? Or do we hang on to those and then we're reacting and not responding? We're reacting because of the secrets we hold in ourselves. Because the secrets, those littles are hanging on to, that they, it's not their job to hang on to that. Let them be free. So you have that ability to respond, to free yourself of those heavy secrets. Remember, a safe adult does not have children keep secrets from their parents or elders. A safe adult does not get kids to keep secrets. Craig? Yeah, you want to be good sticky. We know what we're talking about, because if you want to get sticky, maybe you're doing something shifty. Okay? So, have a look at that in yourself. Okay? you're doing something shifty. Okay? So, have a look at that in yourself, too. Okay, so what are those secrets that we need to release, okay, that shouldn't be kept secret? Hey, what about, what about the bigger secrets on the bigger levels, right? Some people keep secrets. Oh, it's for our own best interest, blah, blah, blah. Well, is it? Is it really? It's for the interest of the people or the interest of the politics? Progress, you know, payoffs, payouts, payday. What is it about? What is it about? We have the ability to respond to that when these secrets are coming out. We can choose to go back, ah, conspiracy theories or whatever. Or we can actually just stop and reflect, right? Not just throw something all out. You know, I love that saying, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? There is some nuggets in everything, right? Even in the lies, because the lies is actually, there's, the, there's this grain of truth, but these lies are kind of piled on around it. And it's up to each of us to take that responsibility and look, right, look, and get to the truth as protection and nurture ourselves and rest, right, and respond from that. The truth, not the secrets and lies, but the truth is our protection and helps us to respond to what's going on out there now, what we do and how, what we're adding in into this world now. Okay, and the overall energies for that balancing in us today, any day, the points to ponder, the lessons to reflect on that's happening in all of our lives right now. We're all going through some major life lessons, major transition as a collective. Look at this world. We are all over the globe. And we're all dealing with the same things. Hmm? Look at that. Secrets coming out everywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Overall point to ponder today and how these actions, reflections, can help us out. That options, because look at there's so many options, so many viewpoints being spewed at you, right? 
Remember, opinion is the lowest form of knowledge. So educate yourself. It's not about those opinions. It's about finding the truth. Not, not an opinion on it. Not an opinion of what the truth is. Getting the two, that actual truth. And we all have that because we can feel that. We all have that truth detector inside us, right? And the more we talk about it, oh, yeah, everybody's showing everybody there, you know? Everybody wants to say something about it. We got freedom of speech. Yes, say say what you need to say, right? But you know, and, and, and don't hide. Don't camouflage. Maybe you got something that people need to hear. See, like me, I'm not saying anything new. Nothing, nothing I say is new. All these messages have been out there forever, right? But I'm going to keep putting myself out there, sharing. These are my viewpoints. These are the options that I'd seen before me because maybe there's somebody caught in something that they're not seeing beyond that, so it's hard to, right? I appreciate those others that have went through and, and you know, opened up and shared their secrets with me, even though that was very hard to do, right? Because in that, they found that truth as protection and nurtured, and we were safe, in that safe space so you need that safe space to share those viewpoints and options because sometimes we might put it out there could be a self-sabotage thing or whatever that makes us draw back in because somebody's like well you can't think that we're allowed to think whatever we want whatever whatever goes on in our heads is our business whatever that is for you so it's no time to be camouflaging bring it out you have that ability to respond to the truth of who you are and then is that time knowing that time when is it time to share my viewpoints my options right when is that time just to look at them we're just reflecting on them before we make that action right and we know how to draw back and camouflage in to keep ourselves safe so is that what we're doing do we just hide behind other groups to keep ourselves safe even if we might not agree with that because we feel that safety in the numbers. So we'll just go with the most popular thing because that'll keep us from persecution or whatever, right? That'll keep us from getting centered out. That'll keep, that'll pr protect us, but it's not the truth, right? We hide behind the lies. That's why we need to bring them out. We can't camouflage that truth anymore. There's too much going on. How can we deny it? Are we going to be in denial? Are we going to do something about this and change that world? Because we can. We all have the power to do it. We need to work together to get through it. True. We work together by doing our work within. Begin within. Find that balance within you. Right? And then you create that ripple effect just innocently, right? There we go. That's the main thing going on. Innocently manifest your ideas and needs. They just come through you. You don't know how you're doing it, but we're following it. We're trusting that we're taken care of, that all of our ideas, all of our needs are met. And we can manifest them. We're given everything we need to be able to manifest all of our needs. There is nothing outside of us we need. God is inside of us. It's not outside of us. It's inside of us. There we go. And you know what? I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like my, um, that is some woman tarot, so. I want to, I want to throw some of those out there, too. Okay. Let's see, let's see, right? We are all in this together. You, you, and me. We can get through it. You yeah, will see. You have to look at what we have believed. Time to make a shift in humanity. Because we can't keep going on like this, you see. Below and the within. Shall we just have them pop out? We'll pick them up. We'll pop them out. We'll pop them out. Pop out. Pop out. Okay. For the female. Pop out. That female creative energies. Whoops. Two came out. Seeker. This one flipped up. Seekers. That self-reflection, right? That came up. Uh, um, self-reflection. This is in the high priestess. 
seeker of the light within. See, it's finding that love and light within herself, the truth of our being, of who we are. That's the truth, is protection that we're all. And then we have that transformation, that death. Mourn, okay, we're still in this physical body, but we know we're not this physical body. So we transform into our full whole being and integrate our spirit in with our body. And we live in non-duality anymore. We are spirit. We are physical. We are material. So what does that say? This is the death card. Transformation. The ride through the desert toward the setting sun. So that's for our woman energies. This is what we're, we're thinking. We're seeking that reflection inside. What was that? Yeah, because this was the woman side and the woman energy. And the otter and the arrow. That truth as protection. We find that. That truth. That we are more than just these physical bodies. More than just these physical bodies. And we need to take care of those. And we're going through a rebirth. The big transfer transformation. It's a transformation. <laughs> Transformed nation. Transform nation. They are transforming the nations. Bringing it back to love and light and peace. The innocence that, you know, we can all have fun here. Nobody. Nobody should be going without. There is enough to go around. So we need to seek and, and let die that selfishness. Let die that there is not enough to go around. And what action can we take? What action can we take? Look at that one, the male. The action that we can take is that restoring balance. Because as we find that balance within ourselves, right, we create that ripple effect. I mean, we can put those streams and just let it be planted wherever they want. So we don't know, right? So as we're living our lives, it's like springing, sprinkling those seeds into the river and let them flow. We don't know where they're going to get planted and grow. We don't know which ones are going to be sustained. We don't know, right? But we just follow that flow. Follow that flow of that spirit wherever it takes us because we know we can trust completely in spirit. Man, another thing. But we can completely trust in our source and connect to your source. Source, you know you're connected to source because there's no anxiety or fear attached with that. It's just whole love. It doesn't judge others. Even if it says you need to remove yourself from that situation, it doesn't say they're bad. No, no. It sees all this beautiful, loving light. Right? Some of them trying to dim their lights. Some of them trying to dim others' lights. Whatever. So we need to restore that balance in ourselves and know we have everything we need. We don't need to take from anybody else. Okay? Overall. So that's the action. We're restoring balance in ourselves and the overall energies. For that to reflect on. That points to ponder. Right? It's noticing the needs. Because once we get our needs fulfilled, we can start seeing the needs of the others. Right? And we need to share that out. We don't keep it to ourselves. Right? we got to put on our own max oxygen mask first. Right? And once we do that and we know how to fulfill a fulfill whatever fulfill our own needs we can help others right we can notice the needs there and say hey right it, it, it's like antelope taking that action i notice a need i could help you with this and be no skin off my back if you need i am here right we don't push it on anybody else we offer right we offer it uh we you know because we're thinking we see that the arrows is the swords it's the air in the regular deck five is about changes too so as we get our needs fulfilled we notice the needs of others too and we all need that connection to spirit we all need sustenance source connection and all all of that we need it all so there we go and then we're reflecting on the potential use of resources the stones and that nine of pipe relating to power. Are you getting your power from your source? Are you being empowered? Empowered to share out and sharing with others. You're trying to have power over. And look at, at the truth in this world. It's about having power and control over. We've gotten caught up into that. That's why we need to return to our innocence. Nobody is more important than anybody. No matter what your title. Governments is there to protect the people. Not to take advantage of the people, right? Not for propaganda and whatever all that political crap is, okay? 
Remember what you're there there by the people for the people. Government works for us, not us working for the government. Let's think of that. I'm not a political person, but that's the truth. That's the truth as that protection. And how do you relate to that power, right? Do you follow the man's laws? Is that your ultimate power? Or is it the spiritual laws that created men? Hmm. Hmm. What's that for you? Hmm. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you. Shining your light through in everything you do. So now more than ever, this world means you. I love you all so much. So put it all out there, my friends. Now is the time.